thanks for the intro. And my name's Ross Kemp, and I'm the founder of ASAP Watercrafts. So I wanted to share with you two things today. I want to tell you a little bit about myself and the product and what I do. And the second thing is I want to share is something I've only recently found out is why I do what I do. So these, I haven't been given a clicker actually, but do you have a, a clicker there? So firstly, the, the product which I'm developing and bringing to market is a one person life-saving watercraft. It's an electric propelled watercraft, thank you for beach lifeguards. So the idea is it's a quick launching craft uh, which someone can throw in the water and get out to casualties quicker. It's quicker to launch than a jet ski. And, and I created this product whilst I was studying product design at Loughborough University. I made the very first prototype completely by hand and I made it in a tent in my back garden. And I hand made it as well, I hand sanded it all. I was studying product design at the university, also training as a lifesaver at the same time. And I researched into rescue equipment and found that there was a chance for innovation and to create a product from scratch, specifically designed for rescue purposes. What would that look like? If I had a blank sheet of paper and started from scratch with, with this product, what would that look like? And, and this is what it did look like, I sanded it from that in the top left to that by hand and hand fiberglassed it, all in a tent in my back garden. If you don't believe me, there's the tent. <laughs> and the reason I did this in a tent in my back garden was not because Loughborough University hasn't got incredible workshops with amazing 3D printers and machinery. It was, it was because I wanted my own space. I wanted to work 24 seven on it and the workshops closed at five o'clock. So I, having it in the back garden, I could just work. I spent about three months in that tent, um, <laughs> hand sanding that watercraft. And at the time, I didn't really know why, but I knew that it was something that I had to do, and I, I learned so much from that. Um, so I, I graduated in 2011, and the university turned around to me and said, we really like what you're doing, and we'd like to give you a little bit of funding, a bit of mentoring, training, to turn it into a business, and to help you take the product into production. And at the same time, I did what, all of my other mates were doing and went and got a job as well. I got a job working at VAX, the vacuum cleaner brand. I was a design engineer at VAX and I designed <coughs> vacuum cleaners. However, I still worked on the watercraft because the university was backing it. I did this in evenings and weekends. So my life was the daytime designing vacuum cleaners, evenings and weekends, I would uh, go home and, and work on the watercraft. Uh, and that was my life for a, for a long time. And it was in one of those spontaneous evenings and weekends that I applied for a TV show called Be Your Own Boss. It was on the BBC and I very spontaneously applied for it, not expecting to get any further. And I got through to the final stages. And it was in, it was in those final stages of Be Your Own Boss that I developed the next prototype which was take, going away from that handmade one and well, let's, you know, let's try and do it properly. However, the BBC only gave me six weeks to do this in. They gave me six weeks to design, develop, make and test the, the product as well as building the business and the business plan. That, that wasn't quite long enough. But it, however, in that six weeks, I had a surprise meeting down in London. The BBC invited me down there and walked in the room and Sir Richard Branson was there. Mm -hmm. How incredible. I ended up pitching the product to Richard Branson and he said to me, well, you've got to take it out to Australia. You've got to test it with some of the best lifeguards in the world. That's where your market is. And I agreed with him. I think I should. <laughs> <laughs> However, I still had a job. At the end of those six weeks of filming with the BBC, I went back to work at Vax, working on vacuum cleaners. And those evenings and weekend sessions became even more important because now I was, trying to, I was trying to work out how can I take Branson up on his offer? I want to go out to Australia, I want to take the product out there. And at the same, this was a crazy time of my life because at the same time there was media going on involving the TV show. It was only a small show but it was still on the radio, on newspapers, magazines. Uh, I remember running across Birmingham in my half an hour lunch break from Vax to do a radio interview at the BBC Centre. That's, that's what it became. And it was again in, in one of these spontaneous evening and weekend sessions that I applied for the Lloyd's TSB Enterprise Awards. And amazingly, I hit gold and I won the best Midlands startup. And then I went on to the Nationals and won the best UK startup, which was absolutely incredible. This, this gave me, uh, actually, I, 
when I was working at Vax, my boss said to me, if you win this award, I think you should leave your job. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember walking up to collect the award and thinking in my head, I'm going to quit my job, to, job tomorrow for this. And I did exactly that. I walked into Vax the next day and, and I left my job. And that was a huge step for me. That was jumping into the unknown and, and having the ultimate faith in my idea. So this meant I was able to put a team together and design the product properly and we had a bit of money behind us and we, we, we took all the learnings of those two prototypes, a handmade one in the tent and, and we did it properly and, and this is the pre-production prototype down here to my left and I took this out to Australia and tested it with some of the world's best lifeguards. I went up and down the east coast in a camper van, had two of these in the back, I tested with the guys on Bondi Beach. We filmed with Bondi Rescue, took Richard Branson up on his offer, all sponsored by, by Virgin, and that, that was absolutely incredible. And that was what I worked for, for about 18 months at Vax, trying to figure out how I was going to take up that opportunity. So that's the first thing I wanted to tell you about. The second thing which I wanted to share with you was, well, why am I doing this? And this is only something that I recently found out myself, and it's taken me a while to discover why did I, why, why would I leave behind a cracking job? It was an awesome job, it was a dream job for a product designer. I mean, it, I, I dreamt when I was on the product design course that someone would actually employ me to sketch and to make things and make prototypes, that's amazing. Why would I leave behind a, a pension, a steady income, uh, all those incredible health, private healthcare benefits and all those amazing things that come with a, a full-time job? to go into something which is no wage and no pension, no healthcare <laughs> benefits and complete unknown. And the only reason, the only answer which I could come up with for that was adventure. To me, I found that that's, that's what made me leave my job and that's what, that's what influences a lot of my decisions now is that adventure and that curiosity of the unknown and the curiosity of something which isn't quite finished yet. And for me, it was when I, I sanded that thing in the tent, I knew that I wanted to make something tangible that I could put in front of someone and say, look, this is my idea. And they'd look at it and they'd understand it. And it was bright yellow and it would attract people's attention. And for me, that's, that's why I left my job for an adventure. And so I guess um, I feel like I'm paid in adventure now rather than money and when I think back to when I used to work at Vax I feel much richer and much more fulfilled being paid in adventure than when I was paid with money which is a really strange feeling and even though uh, for my business at the moment we're still developing the product and um, it's still at a pre-production stage we're hoping to manufacture the first batch at the end of this year and so I'm not taking a wage from the company at the moment, so I really am paid in adventure. Um, and that's, that's something which is, is really exciting for me. And in terms of the business, I try to find ways of what's the next adventure, what's the next step, and ways to keep me interested. And I started thinking, well, maybe this is quite a powerful thing. I think that's, for me, what makes me tick and what makes me influence my decision. And I started thinking, well, am, am I alone? Am I the only person that thrives off adventure? And, and I started looking into it more. And I, I read this amazing quote from um, Nikola Tesla. Tesla um, invented alternating currents, the modern electricity system that we use. And he said, I do not think there is any thrill that can go through the human heart like that felt by an inventor, as they see some creation of the brain unfolding to success. Such emotions can make a man forget food, sleep, friends, love, everything. And when I read that, I thought that's, that's why I felt that's why I was in the tent. I wanted to see my idea unfold into success and I wanted to see what it would become. And, and it made me think, I think that's a, a very powerful thing. And if, if we're able to harness that, and for, it might be different for everyone. I think everyone might have that driving force. What is it that, uh, that you get out of bed for and what is it that makes you make your decisions? Um, for me, it's that adventure and it's that thrill, it's that buzz you get off of making something and seeing something unfold. And I could really relate to what Tesla was, was saying. 
So this is, uh, this is how I felt when I left my job at Vax. I was leaping into the unknown, I, it, but it was such a buzz. And this goes back to the uh, adventure. And I, I have this as a poster above my desk in my office. And this reminds me of that moment where I, I left my job, I left behind all security and, and, and a future career in a, in a solid company to, to create my own business. And that's, that's an amazing thrill and an amazing buzz that I got. And uh, this, is, this is a photo by Yves Kelm. And what was, when I saw this image, it just made me think, well, you're jumping into something which is unknown and, and you don't necessarily know if you're gonna land. And, but what made this even more poignant for me, this was taken in the 1960s where there was no Photoshop. So he actually did this for real. He jumped off that wall and he had no idea if it'd land or not. So that, that's why I have it up in my office because that helps me make some of the big decisions in, in my own business. Um, and this says to me that you just have to start, throw yourself into it and, and begin your adventure. And I'm still on my adventure of bringing that product to market and we're still at that pre-production stage and the journey so far has, has been incredible and that's what's kept me going and that's why I do it and, and I'm sure that everyone has their, their own reasons for, for doing what we do and uh, that's, that's really what I wanted to share with you today. Thank you.